an equalized uh, loading of these anchors. We're simulating a multi-point anchor here, one point here, and one point here. Now, this could be an ice axe, this could be a snow stake. These two bolt hangers are merely to illustrate different anchor points and the loading that occurs between them. I'm going to create an anchor here with two, three carabiners. One anchor point here, a second anchor point here. and the sling to connect the anchor points. You may have all seen this, the American Death Triangle, wherein vector forces are magnified because the two anchor points are actually pulling towards each other instead of in the direction of pull. This is a sewn sling, a knotted sling just as well. We try and keep the whole the knot out of the, the system out of the way. We can take our anchor points. They're equalized like this, but they're not isolated. Should one anchor fail, the whole anchor fails. We can connect these in a different fashion, wherein we take one sling, one side of the sling, we rotate it 180 degrees. We put our main anchor point in here. Should one side of the anchor fail, we still have an anchor, however, we do shock load this side significantly. To overcome this problem, we clip our sling into both anchor points, e equalize, take our anchor. We anticipate the direction of the load. Is it this way? Is it this way? We grasp a point. We tie the figure eight that we discussed earlier keeping in mind that the two anchor points are equalized in the direction of pull and we have a new master point in our anchor. Should either side of the anchor fail, there's no shock loading and the other side of the anchor still holds. This is the preferred method of anchor construction. Thank you.